Morning YouTube, this is Black Red Silverbug coming to you with another video. And so I grouped this 15 ounces together. Um, I want to start with a coin show pickup, it's 2012 Perth Mint, and it is a dragon. Year of the dragon, very nice. Had about, the uh, <clears throat> dealer had a, several of these, I got, got my pick. Uh, mainly just finding the capsule that wasn't scratched up too badly. And that's my first year of the Dragon. This is 10 ounces. And moving on to my Provident pickups. And I already put these in capsules. And I love the way these half ounces look. So these are 2018. This is my fourth year to purchase uh, two one half ounces. These are very nice. Um, then here we go with the 2018s also very nice I don't see any issues with these BU condition all right all right all right very nice now I'm gonna finish up with the rant uh, and I'm not sure if it's directed at Provident Metals but uh, soon after I made this purchase um, I got a pop well, I don't know how you call it, a list in the list. Anyway, on Facebook, uh, I had a request for a survey about my recent purchase from Provident Metals. And so that's a very, to me, I, I'd like to remain as anonymous as possible. I use an e-check uh, with Provident Metals, and I certainly hope that they're not sharing my information with Facebook. And, and just as a comparison, when you go with cash to a coin show, you know, I mean, that's, that's yours until, and it's your business until you declare it, if you should sell it at a profit and pay your taxes. You know, that's, that's one thing. Um, but it's quite another t to have my purchase uh, being followed by Facebook in some form or another. So I don't know if Facebook has a way to know whether you, or not you made a purchase at a site or if... if uh, the vendor sharing that information with Facebook. Um, I called Cus Provident Metals customer service. They denied any involvement. Um, I've also left them other messages. <clears throat> so we'll see if I get a response from the, another response from a, other than the customer service person who didn't, uh, who just denied it. So anyway, that's my that's my rant. Uh, please let me know if any of you have had similar experiences. And that'll do it. That's 15 more ounces to the stack. I added also three and a half ounces. Um, that was mostly Australian silver in my previous video. And I have another 20 ounces on the way next week that I'll include in my May video uh, simply because May is going to be pretty light. Thanks a lot. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a good evening.